Hi friends! So today I have even more happy mail to share with you and this one is coming from one of my BFFs uh, who is Yorlis and her YouTube channel is called Pretties by Yorlis Borja and she also has a website of the same name and I will link you to those in the description area of this video and please pay her a visit, sub to her channel, follow her website um, she does amazing shabby chic and I'll tell you the lady is so talented and if you um, if you want to do like shabby chic mini albums shabby chic snail mail or just uh, shabby chic projects paper crafting projects in general she is one of your go-to people who I highly recommend for shabby chic everything <laughs> And so, uh, without further ado, I want to say thank you, Yorla, so much for all these beauties. And, and I'll tell you, uh, how, how this turned out was that um, Yorla and I and a few others belong to a private chat group on Facebook. And we talk to each other every single day just about. We talk not only about crafting, but life in general, uh, exchange recipes. Well, kind of not really exchange recipes, but uh, tell each other of the different things that we eat and we cook. Because even though um, the lot of us are Latinos, um, we all come from different areas of South and Central America and, uh, and North America. And even though Spanish is a blanket term, it does not necessarily mean that we all do uh, the same exact things. Many of us have different um, vocabulary for something else. And it's fun interacting with people because um interacting with my friends because sometimes i'll say something in spanish and then guaranteed one or two will be like sandy what does that mean <laughs> And then we also share different uh, foods that we eat and we tell each other what it is and what it's it's based on. And we're like, oh, that sounds so yummy. But anyhow, uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was a couple of months ago or a few weeks ago or whatever, uh, Yorlis and I, we were talking about this thing that, um, that I can't find anywhere in Houston. And it's called Fresca Avena. And so this Fresca Avena was something that we used to um, have when we lived in New York and and you could find it there and the thing is about certain Spanish foods or um, how to, ingredients you can find in different areas of the country of, of the US and I guess that is all based on demographics and for some reason, even though in the Houston, Texas area, we have a high concentration of Hispanics from all over the world, um, there are some things that you still cannot find. And I can't find a certain product called Fresca Vena. And so anyways, one day Yorlis was like, you know what? We have those in our supermarket and she lives in New York. And so any, anyways, I told her, uh, you know what, whenever you go to the store, if you can remember, just pick me up a pack of that because, and, and just send it over. Just let me know how much it's going to be and everything. Just send it over because I would love to have some, you know, and my kids love it and everything. It's just that we can no longer find it anywhere in the Houston area. And so she did, and along with the Fresca Vena jars, she sent me two of them, along with the Fresca Vena jars, she sent me all these goodies that I wasn't expecting. I was like, oh my gosh. And what I'm really, really excited about is this right here. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. She does a lot of 3D designs and this is a sewing machine from an SVG file. I'm not sure where she got the SVG file from and your list if you could please let me know where you got the file from because I've been wanting to make one of these since forever. <laughs> I don't get enough use out of my brother's scan and cut and and 
I love 3D projects and I would love to make something like this. I want the entire set, you know, because I know that sometimes they sell, sell them by the bundle. But yes, please let me know if uh, where you got this one from because they're not all the same. And this is the style of the um, 3D sewing machine that I really really enjoy and oh my gosh but yeah she sent this to me and I hope that this camera is doing well so that way you can see all the all the little details that she added to this and oh my gosh there is um there's too much white like um reflection what was that Okay, I don't know what that alarm is for. So, anywho, here is this beauty. And, oh my gosh, look at this. This is so pretty. How she did everything. Everything is so detailed. She has appliques. And she has spools that she made over here with little trends and everything. And flowers and leaves and pearls. Both in pink and in um white and i love that and i love how how you made this bow with with the uh with just scraps i love that i love that and here is the design where she added a couple of buttons and she um this is a dimensional um sediment that says so happy for you and here are more dimensional things that she added to this and look i love how she added this um trim of fabric as though she's sewing <laughs> i really really like that i really like that and look this is what this side looks like it is so super cute i love that so anyways this is a drawer that opens um let me see which way it opens i guess i could <laughs> here's a drawer and look what she put in it let me go ahead and put this down and i'll put it down this way so y'all can admire it and over here she gave me some trim samples i love it i love this oh my gosh this is so cute and some flower samples oh i really really like these flowers you must tell me where you got these these are different you know they how they added the the little tool here right outside the rosebud and a little um what you call it rhinestone on there i really really like these thank you thank you so so much and let me go ahead and put this back on here oh and there's a second drawer oh my goodness look there's a second drawer <laughs> and in this second drawer we have oh is this tilda oh it's so beautiful look at this bow she has a handmade bow there and we have what is this it's a girl thing, a little shaker device thing. I really, really like that. It's fun. And we have more appliques. How pretty is this? Oh, my word. Look at. This is so pretty. Look at that. And look at that. How beautiful is this? Oh, my goodness. Look. How pretty. I love this. It's a thimble. It's a thimble with charms. How pretty is that? I love that. Love, love, love. And we also have another one of them shaker. Right here it says fierce. This would go so well with a Prima uh, mini album. Uh, love that. Love, love, love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that. I love it. I love it. And this cute bow i could just place it right there <laughs> to go on that i love it and i know that she used prima over here for the sewing machine it's very pretty very pretty paper now let me go ahead and close this back up so thank you so much yourless and she also gifted me one of these this is a spool of ribbon and it's heart in gold i love that i could use this on a scrapbook layout 
and she also gifted me some flowers I think these are prima flowers I think let me see if I could gosh the glare in this camera is so terrible I need to go back and play with the settings I've been playing with the settings and I still haven't gotten it 100% but we'll see we'll see how we do with this camera because I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to use this camera for my future um, um, whatchamacallit videos my my tutorials and so she gave me this one uh, studio G punch it's a little uh, whatchamacallit Valentine's oh gosh what do you call those the little angels cherubs cherub cherub it's really cute thank you so much it's so tiny too love that oh my goodness and I love these she gifted me these appliques butterfly appliques aren't these gorgeous and look at this how pretty is that it's so beautiful oh my word and look over here we also have them in blue these are so super pretty and over here we have some more butterfly appliques how cute are these and here oh my gosh these are super cute look at this in pink i just love that oh my word love it love it love it and here are more flowers thank you thank you and i'm curious to see what this is oh oh i know what this is okay 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 a while back, Yorlis was uh, telling us about some handmade paper that she did. She took a whole bunch of scraps from what she had. And then I think she put them through her blender. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Did you put these through your blender? And then you set them out to dry on this thing to make her own papers? And I was like, ooh, I think I'm going to do that, yeah. And so, anyways, I'll, I'll look at these in a minute. And I think that's what this is. So, let's take a look. Because, oh my goodness. She made these. And they smell so good. Oh my gosh. Look, this is handmade paper from her scraps. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. And I could use these to make a shabby chic um, background. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. What did you add to these? Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good. Thank you so very much for gifting these to me. I'm certainly going to use them like with shabby chic cards or a shabby chic layout. Absolutely. And look at these flowers, I believe. And I mean flowers, butterflies. I'm saying flowers. These are butterflies, Sandy. Okay. <laughs> I believe these are Renea bouquets. I want to say they're Renea bouquets because I've seen a lot of ladies uh, do Renea bouquets projects and they whip out these, um, whatchamacallit, beautiful cardstock butterflies. Oh my word, look. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my word, they're so pretty. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I will get a ton of use out of these. Oh my gosh. And oh, let me let me show you this. Hang on just a moment. Look at this. This is a, what is it called? A firefly? Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? That'd be, oh gosh, look at that. That is super, super pretty. And, oh my word. Uh, let me, there we go. We separate them. Look at that. That is so beautiful beautiful thank you thank you so much yeah check out Renea bouquets i'm sure she's the one who's making these because i have seen these before and these are phenomenal thank you so much and she also gifted me some bow bunny i love bow bunny and you know what 
I believe I did buy this paper collection a Tuesday morning. So thank you so very much. These are absolutely awesome. I love Bow Bunny. I just love these collections. They're so colorful and so bright and so out there. I just love that. I love, I, I, I just love a lot of color. <laughs> Thank you so much. And for my planners, for one of my very many planners, I have some lovely Flamingo Index stickers. Thank you. Thank you. I love this. And this is by Daiso. Oh, I love these. These are so pretty. So super pretty. Like tabs. Yeah, they call it index stickers, but I see that they're tabs. Thank you so, so much. I'll be using them in my traveler's notebooks. And here is a handmade card that she made. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to be using this camera anymore because there's just too much glare. And you can't, with all that glare, you can't appreciate the colors here. And so, anyhow, she made a very dimensional card. See how dimensional that is? I love dimensional everything. She made this beautiful dimensional card and it says thinking of you and I love the dies that she used there. Very beautiful, very dainty, very intricate and I just love, love, love this. This is so beautiful. Very beautiful and how she added an applique here, a dangle and she added more down underneath and I want to say this is is this tilde paper it's so pretty you got to let me know what paper you're using here and in the bow that you gifted me here because I'm thinking that's tilde oh it's a handmade card it's a blank card for me to use thank you so much I love it I love how you did this and how she made the little flowers. I want to get my hands on these tiny little flowers. I used to order them from a store that's no longer open. Um, I forget the name of the store. I want to say thanks be to God or something like that. It was one of Christine's friends that I used to order uh, my flowers and things from, my shabbiness goodies from, but she's no longer open. So let me know your list. Um, where you're getting these flowers because I really really love these tiny little rose uh, roses that you have so yeah and uh, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and add your Liz's channel link and her website link in the area right underneath this video like I said the lady does a ton of shabby chic I know she does her her uh, pretties by your uh, dolls and she does take um, custom orders you would just have to ask her when and she has extremely reasonable prices so thank you so very much for sending me all this crafty goodness girlfriend i love you to the moon and back and uh thank you all so very much for watching and i will see you once again in my next video bye